everybody. For Discovery News, I'm Will Johnson. I'm here with Discovery News reporters Jorge Rivas and Discovery News reporter James Williams. Hello. And uh, this is a video extension of our audio podcast, the Friday News Feedback, which we do every week. We'll tell you how to check that out. And uh, basically, we'll be bringing you uh, the three coolest stories that we found this week, right? Yeah. Right, that are video-based. video form. Yes. yes. Video format. Okay. So, uh, James, would you like to begin? I go first. The uh, first uh, video that we're doing this week is one that I produced for Discovery News. It's not so much a science story as it is science fiction. What I did is interview uh, somebody who's really good at making UFO hoax videos. Mm. Uh, th- and this is sort of in response. Even just lately, we've heard a lot of, of news about images that are sort of unexplained. So this guy just gave me some tips on how to make something really, really authentic looking in terms of, of UFO hoaxes. Is that a cool thing to do, to make UFO hoax videos? Well, this guy's interesting in that he advertises that it's a hoax, yeah. so it's not a true oh, He's hoax. not trying to trick people. It'd be nice if he could put this hobby to um, to good. Use. Well, in a sense, he kind of does because he's, you know, he, he makes it obvious that you can't believe everything that you see on the that web or right. in video, that this stuff is easy to reproduce. So unless you see it with your own eyes, you might not, don't believe it. All right, very cool. Uh, Jorge, would you like to go and I'll, I'll go last? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, my story is another video I produced uh, also for Discovery <laughs> News, and it's about if you guys ever wanted to have like your own little personal flying machine, yes, you know, to take you to Mo- the grocery James? store. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Well, NASA NASA engineers have developed a uh, animation of one. They've developed a kind of a concept of one. It's a prototype. It's still being very early stages being built. It looks like a cross between a helicopter and like a kind of an airplane hang glider thing, and uh, you get in. You strap yourself in it, it. It's parked, you know, sort of right side up, and then it kind of takes off, turns, you know, leans forward, and then you're flying through the air like a hang glider kind of deal. All right, uh, great job. Uh, so, so my story. Are you guys ready? Can we move on? Yeah, yeah I'm, right. I'm psyched for your story. It's well, like it sort of fits time. into this this whole world of flying yeah. cars in a way. Um, <laughs> NASA and and GM have uh, are, are working together right now to uh, they've created the, the, these robots that are called Robonauts, and uh, the one will be used to help spacewalkers in space. Um, a spacewalker's assistant, if you will, mm-hmm. and the other will be used uh, for for GM on the factory floor, apparently. Ah, and uh, who got the better job? Yeah, well, I don't know. One I mean, might yeah, be a little yeah. more dangerous yeah. than the other. All right, so there it is, guys. A cool looking robot. Hope cool. you liked it. Yeah. yeah, and we hope you enjoyed it. Of course, uh, if you'd like to listen to and download our audio podcast, James, tell folks where to find that. Go to news.discovery.com/feed. Blog. You could also, uh, if you were inclined, look in iTunes and just search for the Friday News Feed Bag. Feed Bag. That's it. For Discovery News, I'm Will Johnson. I'm Jorge Rivas. I'm James Williams. Have a good week. Thanks.